price of a certain commodity whether it's a tangible service or an intangible artifact is very important in business community we we shall now look at the uh, pricing schemes which possibly could be adopted or are already widely in use uh, for different uh, cdn networks and the kind of resultant business model which comes into play with the adoption of certain pricing scheme the basic um, content provider and cdn interplay in a business model actually is on an assumption the assumption is that cdn is going to provide some economic benefits to content provider because the content provider could very much host her own network but why is it banking on cdn number 1 speeding up the performance in terms of end to end service time the economies of scale by aggregating the users um in multiple profiles and servicing every user at a certain server data center or even a customer site the pure finance terms the marginal cost is actually the the resultant cost which is incurred in providing certain service per customer is expected to reduce um than what a content provider would incur in addition the content provider expects higher availability during uh, certain anomalous uh, situations like flash crowds or dos attacks now the concern is how could we measure the value and how much price could we tag to that particular service as we know it is beyond um stating anything further that the pricing policies significantly impact the margin of cdn that it is going to get out of the content provider and the surplus that is the resultant profit that cdn that the content provider is there to uh, earn so this means there would be some kind of tricky issues that have to be resolved uh, by the content provider and cdn that includes the impact of the nature of traffic whether it is poison or it is very much deterministic uh, or if it is bursty how much profits could be afforded both for content provider and cdn then could we look at some kind of discount policy like uh, we get sales in uh, our peak seasons like ramazan and new year etc then uh, if there is a certain change in 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 the market inflation or any anything unexpected like uh, dollar rate so the overages in current pricing mechanism have to be rethought it's 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 a tricky issue then the competition uh within the cdn market because sometimes uh cdns um uh, have to enter into the market so the prof uh, so the prices that they quote are so <clears throat> artificial and so uh unsustainable for others to maintain let's look at very basic form of pricing schemes the pricing schemes are based on uh, as simple as the aggregate usage aggregate usage is uh, in terms of uh, the megabytes or we call volume for instance 50 terabytes per month if that is an agreement between the content provider and cdn then the cdn can charge the content provider per gigabyte delivered it could be as low as at the mb level but it it is normally um amortized at the gigabytes level similarly some uh, discounts could be offered from the cdn to the content provider that if you if you and if you 
consume anything around 50 terabytes we are we are going to charge you half a dollar uh, per terabyte but if you go uh, beyond 100 terabytes if you are a very good customer of us we might provide you uh, uh, a considerable subsidy and on the other side just to keep the content provider in check uh, some excess usage could have penalties as well uh, another form of uh, uh, pricing is the percentile uh, based pricing percentile as in the bandwidth consumption so the cdn periodically samples bandwidth usage using well known uh, tools like mrtg etc um, the content provider consumption of the bandwidth is measured and then uh, to to make it more fair 95th percentile of usage is computed at the end of every month and correspondingly the the, the content uh, provider is charged uh, per mega bits per second so far so good we are not incorporating any qos issues but the problem becomes complicated because in reality the content provider is providing services to certain users who have an expectation in terms of quality of service so the uh, congestion uh, pricing in networks actually means that there has to be some kind of uh, price tag associated with how much does it cost to have congestion in the network for the content delivery network so congestion pricing focuses on interaction between how much money the content provider is going to um, offer against certain QS. And this QS is, of course, going to demand certain uh, limits on the congestion. So the congestion cost is going to be for the content delivery network and the capacity cost are going to be the for content delivery network. Now, the user or the con uh, content provider is interested in maximizing the QoS at minimum price. But for the content delivery network, when the capacity is fixed, when it cannot be increased indefinitely, and the QoS requirements from the content provider become stringent and stringent, so it means now price is now going to be the factor that could possibly uh, manipulate interaction or the business bargain between the content provider and the content delivery network. We are so far on the uh, book by Rajkumar Bhaiya, Content Delivery Networks.